What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your MPC expansion pack content in the MPC Live and MPCX in standalone mode. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your MPCX or MPC Live is in controller mode and any drives that you've got connected to your MPC Live or MPCX are mounted onto your computer so you can drag and drop the content from the expansions onto whatever drive you wish to store those on. So in my case, I've got an iOmega 500 gigabyte external USB hard drive, which is this one. And as you can see, I've got this Akai expansions folder and within there, I've got all my expansion packs and all the content that's within them. So it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, I'll take you through either method of how to actually access that content. So it's slightly different on a PC. If you haven't already done this on your PC, I will show you how. You just need to make sure that any hidden files, folders or drives are visible on your PC. So I'm running a PC emulator so I can take you through that. So let's go down to the start menu in the bottom left hand corner and do a right click. Go to control panel and then go to appearance and personalization, folder options and click on show hidden files and folders and make sure show hidden files and folders and drives is checked. It's just under here where it says hidden files and folders. Make sure that's checked. That is the default. That's what you want it to be set to. So press apply and okay, and then we can close that window. So this is where that actual folder that we've just revealed is located. So it's file explorer. Then we need to go to the C drive, which is here then program data. Now I haven't actually downloaded the expansions onto this PC emulator, but this is where you would find the Akai folder. And within that, you should have another folder called MPC. And again, within that folder, you should have another folder called content. So I'll show you the Mac equivalent so you know where you're looking. So it's your PC hard drive, your main hard drive, the local disk, C drive, program data, and then Akai, and it should be in there. On a Mac, it's on your main hard drive. In my case, it's an SSD drive, which I boot my Mac OS from. Then it's library, application support. Now application support is essentially program data on a PC. So there's the Akai folder, click into that. Then we need to click into MPC and then content. It's already open there. So I'm gonna actually click right into that folder on my Mac. So if you look in the description, you should see the file path for each of these folders for both PC and Mac. So here's all my content for all my expansions. If you just want the waves, the best way to do it is go to the search bar, type .wav, and make sure you select this, not this Mac. Make sure you select the folder that you're actually looking in. And there you go, that will select all the waveforms in that particular expansion. Then you can just press Command All and drag and drop them to whatever hard drive that you've got connected to your MPC Live or MPC X. Or you can just do what I did. I don't know why I did this because I don't want Arab Music's sequences and project data. I just wanted all the samples that's contained within all the expansions that I've got. But I think it was at the time that I did it, it was just a bit quicker to just go to all the main expansion folders and just grab all of them and then just drag them on because I had enough space on this iOmega drive. And then when you open up your MPC in standalone mode, you'll have all those samples in their respective folders, depending on how you've actually dragged and dropped them onto whatever drive you're using. That's it guys, please head over to Patreon and give me a bit of support on there. I would really appreciate it. Paths to the expansion pack content I'll put them in the description as said before. Please like, share and subscribe. This is Tube Digger and I will see you on the next one. I'm out.